My DoorDash deliveries are never on time and it really doesn't matter. Okay, okay, they're not all late. Only about 25% of my DoorDash orders are past the time window given, but let's explain why that really doesn't matter. With a DoorDash and other delivery apps like Amazon Flex, they give you a time window of when they want that delivery to be made. The problem is, is that even if these apps kind of consider traffic, they really don't consider real world delays. And speaking of traffic, traffic here in San Diego, California, especially around that 5 p.m. rush hour can get absolutely slammed, but let's talk about some other delays that hurt that rating as well. It's not just traffic, it's delays at the actual restaurant as well. Now, you can get to the restaurant early, you can get on time, or you can get there late, but sometimes, regardless, that restaurant's not gonna be ready with the order. This hurts that delivery window and is gonna cause you to deliver some of your orders outside of that acceptable range. The good news is that most of your customers are going to be understanding when there's delays. If it's traffic or if it's the restaurant, you just need to make sure you clearly communicate these delays to your customer. Also consider this, is most customers, and I think you would agree, would rather you take your time, verify the order and make sure everything's there, than rush through an order, try to get to them faster and have missing items. I want you to focus on customer service first. Don't worry about rushing through an order, just worry about these time windows that these companies are giving you. If you focus on wowing your customer, making sure that all items are in the order, that's gonna win you tips and a higher rating. Do consider that DoorDash does have thresholds for a completion rate, for an acceptance rate, and for your ratings, that if you do fall out of a certain window for those, you can risk deactivation. Generally, you shouldn't have to worry about this, firstly, if you provide good customer service, you'll get good ratings. Secondly, you should always intend on completing an order if you accept it. And thirdly, your acceptance rate, as long as you don't have an acceptance rate of around 10% or something extremely low, you'll be fine. Your driver Mike here, I do appreciate you watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to join your driver team, and I will see you in the next one.